Next is a conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on September 1st, 1973, in London, England. So, without brain, how this thing can happen? But these rascals they do not understand. They say nature. What is this nature? Yes. Nature is an instrument, but the brain is God. Just like you paint a flower with the brass, the brass is not the creator of the painting. He was created. Similarly, it appears that it is happening natural. Nature is only brass, but the brain is God. Yet no two are the same, are they? Eh? They are not the same. Yes. The variety. Every time. Day. Everything is variety. Everything is variety. Full of varieties. Yes. We find the same species of rose. We still you will find varieties in human twin brothers. You will find still varieties. And in Goloka Vrindavan, are there still varieties? Huh? Are there still varieties in Vrindavan? In Vrindavan? Goloka Vrindavan, yes. are there still varieties? He says. Oh, yes. There are varieties. Ananda, Ananda, pleasure means varieties. Variety is the mother of enjoyment. Without varieties, just like we prepare from grains, sugar, ghee, hundreds of varieties. If you simply give grain, ghee, and sugar, it will not be enjoyable. But the same thing, you prepare in varieties, and give you a plate. Oh, it's a oh, so nice. The ingredients are the same: grains, ghee, and sugar. That's all. Yes. Similarly, this material world, the ingredients are the same. Namely, uh, five gross elements and three. Subtle elements, final. Earth, water, air, fire, sky. Hmm. These are gross elements. The mind, intelligence, ego, these are final elements. Combined together, this material world has come. There is a brain behind is a living entity. Hmm. Just like we are using these ingredients. These five elements, earth, water, air, fire, sky, making this building, making this table, making this chair, bath, so many things, harmonium, pictures, book. So the ingredients are the same, but my brain is working in different varieties. My brain or your brain? Human brain. Similarly, this material cosmic manifestation is full of varieties. The brain behind it is Krishna. That is stated. You have read our Bhagavad Gita? Uh, there is a verse. Find out. Maya dhaksena pagati isyate isa charatara etu nani na kontiya jagad bhi parivartate. Maya Dakshina Prikita Suyute Sacharachara Etuna Ananena Kuntaya Tibat Vipar Purivari Vartate. This material of nature is working under my direction as son of Kunti, and it is producing all moving and unmoving beings. By its rule, this manifestation is created and annihilated again and again. But what? It is clearly stated here that the Supreme Lord, although aloof from all the activities of the material world, remains the Supreme Director. 
The Supreme Lord is the Supreme Will and the background of this material manifestation, but the management is being conducted by material nature. Krishna also states in Bhagavad Gita that of all the living entities in different forms and species, I am the father. The father gives seeds to the womb of the mother for the child, and similarly, the Supreme Lord by his mere glance injects all the living entities into the womb of material nature, and they come out in their different forms and species according to their last desires and activities. All these living entities, although born under the glance of the Supreme Lord, still take their different bodies according to their past deeds and desires. So the Lord is not directly attached to this material creation. He simply glances over material nature. Material nature is thus activated, and everything is created immediately. Because He glances over material nature, there is undoubtedly activity on the part of the Supreme Lord, but He has nothing to do with the manifestation of the material world directly. This example is given in the Smriti. When there is a fragrant flower before someone, the fragrance is touched by the smelling power of the person, yet the smelling and the flower are detached from one, from one another. There is a similar connection between the material world and the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Actually, he has nothing to do with this material world, but he creates by his glance and ordains. In summary, material nature, without the superintendence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, cannot do anything. Yet, the Supreme Personality is detached from all material activities. Is uh, modern science materialism, uh, Prabhupada? Is it materialism? Yeah. All, all materialism? That's dealing with earth, water, air, fire, sky, that's all. Mm. And in this time, uh, modern science, you know, physics, chemistry, mathematics, it is all materialism? All materialism. All materialism. They do not know what is spiritual. And inside these people doing this work, yeah. is it Krishna or what is it makes them do the work? No, the soul is a living being, so nature is supplying material, and he is molding in different forms. Just like earth is not man's creation, earth is God's creation, or it is product of God's energy. But we are using this earth and molding in different forms, different pots, different dolls. So ingredients are supplied by God. Nature means God's energy. We simply handle them. We cannot produce anything, we transform it. Just as this iron, we cannot produce iron. It is gotten from the mind, iron bar. Hmm. Now we are transformed into different forms. Because we have got creative energy, like God, not very great, a very minute quantity. So as God has created by His intelligence the whole universe, we are creating this table, this pillow, this harmonium, that's all. What you are finding? I'm just looking at that verse again. Which what? My Adha Oh. Maya Dhakshena Prakriti Siyate Chachana Achanam Hetu Nani Na Kaunteya Jagat Bhi Parivattati The Bhagavad Gita is the perfect information of everything. One has to study carefully. That's all. It is perfect information. And you can accept it with your good logic, not that blindly you accept. Now just like Krishna says, the material elements are my energy. Now you can consider, you can argue, you can make argument, if you come to the conclusion. 
just like material elements, water, the vast water, the ocean, Atlantic Ocean, vast water. So it is created by God's energy. How can you explain with your argument? Because it is said there, Krishna says that this is my energy. Now, if you accept it, it is all right. But if you have got hesitation, what is your reason? Because one man says one thing and one man says another thing. So many people have different things to say. Now, the water, just like from your body, water is produced. Is it not? Transformed. Transformed or whatever, but you see, urine is coming, perspiration is coming. Yes. So, these different waters are produced yes. by your energy within the body. Yes. So, why not from God's energy, the vast water? Yes, true. Yes. But why should He give because us... Because God is unlimited. He has got unlimited energy. I have got limited energy. I can pass urine, say one pound. I can have perspiration, say one ounce. But if God likes, He can produce unlimited water. Why this one Atlantic Ocean? Many millions of Atlantic Ocean He can produce. Mm. Water produced from his body. Mm. So very difficult to understand. When Krishna says that the elements, other matters are growing, just like this year. Now today I have said, three days after again it will grow. Mm. So I have got my energy within by which I am constantly growing better. Here is a material thing. So anything you take, it grows from the uh, Supreme. It's very easy to understand. Mm. And uh, This inside, it grows because of Krishna, does it? Everything is growing on account of Krishna. And your, your body, inside or outside, it is made of these five elements, earth, water, air, fire, like that. It is nothing but combination of these five elements. Is the water inside the same as the water in the ocean? Yes. It's the same water? Yes. You, you, have you tested ever a perspiration? Hmm? Perspiration? Yes. Have you tested? Tasted it, your salt. Uh, oh, this, mm, this yes, is salt. like the ocean. Mm. Yes. But uh, one ocean is not the same as another. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My business is mathematics. Oh. oh. It's yeah. not very transcendental. You are a teacher? No, not anymore. <laughs> oh. It's not very transcendental. He's asking if his business is transcendental. No, if it is used for Krishna, then it is transcendental. Mm. If it is used for your sense gratification, then it is material. Mm. That is the difference. Yes. And how do you know whether you're using it for Krishna or not? Yes. That requires training from the Krishna's representative, Guru. 
Just like these boys are being trained now in Krishna consciousness. Yes. So it requires little training. Just like you are mathematician, to make another student mathematician, you have to train him. You have to teach him how to calculate two plus two equal to four. It will never be five. If somebody says, no, my calculation is two plus two equal to five, will it be accepted? I'm afraid sometimes it can be true. <laughs> how it can be true? One plus one can equal three. <laughs> huh? One plus one can equal three sometimes. Is, is that mathematical calculation? I know that it's... Uh, huh? I mean, things reproduce, you know, life is not so fixed, mm. not so rigid. But uh, one does have to be trained, it's true. Mm. But the training is... Uh, some people can understand and some people cannot understand. And mm. That is... <coughs> Depends on understanding. Yes. The fact is true. But if I cannot understand, that is my misfortune. Yes. And if you cannot, if I cannot understand what, this is the end of the... Mm. Yes, this is so. I think this is right. God is fact, but if somebody cannot understand, yes. it is his misfortune. Yes. And another time, another place. Mm. Yes. As you say, there are many oceans. Mm. The Christians say, in my father's house are many mansions. Mm. Is it enough? Mm. No, you can't sit down. This has come a long way mm -hmm. from the barrier reef, the Pacific, these shells. The shells? Oh, oh yeah. From the Pacific. Oh. From the Barrier Reef, Australia. Australia. You know the Barrier Reef? Yes. Yes, that's where they come from, the Barrier Reef. Mm. <laughs> I've seen the reef. You have? In Australia. Oh, yes. I would like to see that. Mm. The sea is wonderful, isn't it? Mm. You like the sea, they tell me. Oh, yes. Mm. Very green. Yes. Clear. Always a different colour, though. Mm. Always a little different, isn't it? A reef I've seen. Yes. About, uh, not less than two hundred feet. Mm. They say under the water is beautiful. <laughs> the light. And they the go under the water? Oh, yes. They go, yes, under the water in skin diving. Huh? Mm. The coral. Coral? It grows coral, doesn't it? Mm. They say it's all very beautiful. Mm. Chai. Mm. 